Have you ever wondered what exactly the canvas is and why rotating it makes sense? And if you accidentally rotated your canvas, keep watching as I also show how to remove the rotation. Let's break it down. The canvas is basically your digital workspace. Think of your photo document as a sheet of paper. The paper or your document has a fixed size, but your view that is totally flexible. You can zoom in, pan around and change how it looks on screen, but that doesn't actually change the content itself. It's just like moving a physical paper closer or turning it sideways to draw more comfortably. And here is where rotation comes in. You can use your trackpad or the command mouse control scroll wheel to rotate your canvas. If the command mouse scroll wheel doesn't work, go to your settings and from the tools section, turn on the enable canvas rotation with command control scroll wheel, which might be turned off by default. Be aware that the canvas will rotate around your mouse position, so you can easily change the rotation center by just moving your mouse. Remember that this doesn't rotate your actual image, just your view, like turning your notebook to get that perfect curve. Rotating the canvas can help you to get a better control of your strokes. Some angles feel awkward, especially with a stylus or tablet. But rotate your canvas and suddenly your wrist motion feels natural again. It's a small trick that makes a big difference when you're inking, sketching or detailing. It also helps you to spot mistakes. Looking at your work from a fresh angle, even upside down, can reveal balance issues or weird proportions you might have missed. And as mentioned, canvas rotation is non-destructive. Unlike rotating a layer or an object, it doesn't affect the actual pixels. If you want to reset the rotation, we can do this by using the view menu. Select reset rotation and the canvas rotation will be restored to normal. You can also use the view menu to rotate the canvas in 15 degrees by using the rotate left and rotate right menu items. If you assign a keyboard shortcut to these menu items, you can even use your keyboard to quickly rotate and reset the rotation. Pretty cool. I hope you found this short video useful and don't forget to hit the like button if you did. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, maybe now it's a good time. Thanks again for tuning in and see you soon in the next video.